12 of your book. If you haven't turned to page 12, please be there now. Um, our final example, <laughs> example four, <clears throat> it says Lexi painted two faces in eight minutes at the crafts fair. At this rate, how many faces can she paint in 40 minutes? Well, they've done a bar diagram to show us what the eight minutes look like. <coughs> it takes her four minutes to do one face. We need to get that down to a unit rate of one minute. And she can't finish a whole face in one minute because it takes her how long to do a whole face? Four minutes. Four minutes. So we're going to divide four minutes down to one. And if we take her two faces in eight minutes, and we divide that, we end up with a fraction. And it really makes sense to think about this as a fourth, because if I divide this section into four, here's one minute, isn't it? How much of this is one minute? 25% or 0.25 or one fourth. So if I know that that's the case, and this is showing this down here, I can just take, <laughs> 0 0.25 times 40 and we end up with 10 faces in 40 minutes which really does make sense because if it takes her four minutes to do each face four times 10 would be 40 right so that's just one more example of a real world problem I'd like to take the last few minutes to do some guided practice problems. So pick up your pencil, you're going to be doing these with me. CD Express is one store, Music Place is a second store. Do you guys even buy CDs anymore? Yeah. What CDs? Yeah. What CDs, yeah. <laughs> no, we download our music now, right? But if we had a store that was selling four CDs for $60, do you remember in my opening video? I said, whenever you have money, where does it go in the ratio? It always goes on the top. So we're going to set this up as money on top and the CD number on the bottom. So the first store is $60 for four CDs. 60 divided by four is 15. The second store sells $75 and you get six CDs. Now I didn't have you guys all pick up a calculator, but if I do 75 divided by six, I get 12.5, which in money terms, $12.50. So which is the better place to buy CDs? Walmart. <laughs> Music Place would be our answer. It's got the better deal. I am recording this. Oh, you are? You are. You are. <laughs> After th Let's look at number two. After three and a half hours, Pasha has traveled 217 miles. If she travels at a constant speed, how far will she have traveled in four hours? Well, what always goes on top when we're dealing with distance and time? <laughs> The distance always goes on top, so we're going to put the miles up here, and the time always goes in the denominator. And we have 217 miles in three and a half hours. We need to figure out how much she can do in one hour then. 217 divided by 3.5 gets a 62. This is really a series of like equivalent fractions because the question wanted us to say how far she can travel in four hours. So now that we know for every hour it's 62, we just have to multiply that 62 times what? Four. four. Yeah. 62 times four is 248 in four hours. Thumbs up if this is making sense because you're going to be doing problems like this in a moment on your own. Hey, wait. Okay. Last problem. Again, if I see money in the problem, I know when I set up my ratio that money's going to go on the top and whatever the other thing is, is going to go in the base. And in this case, it says five pounds. 
So pounds is going to go on the bottom. I have, it would write five pounds for two dollars and forty nine cents as a unit rate, which means I need to get this down to my base being one. How am I going to do that? Two forty nine divided by five. If you have a calculator, please do that. Zero point four nine eight. Which I would round that up to 50 cents. Because it did say round to the nearest hundredth. And when I look at 0.498, I'm going to round up the 8 to the 9, and that's going to get rounded up, so it will be at 50 cents. Okay, right now I'd like you to rate yourself. Are you ready to move on? Shade one of these three sections. Adam. Once you've rated yourself, I want you to work on page 13. You're going to need a calculator. Get as many of them done before the bell rings, and we'll continue this work on Monday.